So I'm Ekaterina Forster-Smith. I'm a senior psychometrician with Illuminate Education. You can think about it um, in terms of consistency of scores. If you test a student today and test a student tomorrow, our score is going to be similar, right? If you test one population of students and a different population of students, are you going to be seeing similar scores on the same assessment? Um, and down to internal reliability, if you are administering the first part of the assessment to the students and the sec second part of the assessments, are the scores on the first part and the second part going to be similar? Are students performing on all of the items within any given assessment consistently? In a nutshell, test validity is whether any given assessment measures what it's supposed to measure. What we're trying to ascertain a lot of the times is content validity and criterion validity. Content validity, um, when we have item writers writing any given item, we're trying to make sure that um, the items align to certain standards, for example. In order to do this, we need multiple people making sure that the item aligns to a certain standard or assessment as a whole aligns to a given number of standards, right? So having three people blindly aligning um, items or assessments to the standards, right? Having that content validity. Um, on top of that, once the assessment is in production, what I do is criterion validity, right? How good of a predictor that assessment is to any other given instrument, any other given assessment. For example, um, end of year state assessment. Um, so in order to do that, we correlate performance on any given assessment, benchmark, any inspect assessment with state test performance or any other um, valid instrument, for example, ACT or SAT. 